vibrato. We're going to talk about vibrato today. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. Let's get right to it. Vibrato is modulation of the tone. There's the tone with no modulation. Now here's a really slight vibrato. Here's a wider vibrato. Here's a really wide vibrato. Here's a wider vibrato. And even a wider vibrato. Usually when you're playing a note, you don't use vibrato on quick notes. It doesn't happen. Only when you're holding a note for any length of time can you do vibrato. And the vibrato is really part of your personality. So I would say you need to work on vibrato to craft it to be what you want it to be. Vibrato can be spastic, right? Weird. It can be slow. It can be slow and small. It can be slow and wide. It can be fast and small. It can be fast and wide. So you can do different kinds of vibrato. Let's zoom in a little bit and I'll talk to you about that. I'm just going to do some vibrato here on the E string. Now that's not vibrato, that is just a straight tone. You really can't do vibrato on an open string unless you do something to the neck. Like that, unless you push the neck. If you roll your finger like this, you get a little bit of a vibrato. Hear that? So I'm kind of rolling it and it's sliding a little bit. Now on a cello or a violin or an instrument that doesn't have frets, you really hear it quite a bit. But with frets, this rolling kind of vibrato back and forth is very subtle. Now, if you want a wider vibrato, what you have to do is I anchor myself right here on my hand, usually about right here on the hand, somewhere on the other side of, you know, here's your knuckle, your the first knuckle of your hand right here. On the other side, somewhere in there, near the where the finger comes together to the palm, somewhere in there. And what I do is I normally get not just one finger and push up and down. If I'm going to go up and down like this, because that's another way to do the vibrato is to, to modulate it up and down like this. But you don't do it with your fingers like this. I actually do it with my hand like this. So I'm touching the guitar. I'm getting one or two fingers on the string. And then we vibrato like that. Here's the B string. I'm on the fifth fret right there. Now I'm pushing up primarily like that, but as you get towards um, this part of the neck right here, I guess you could say the top of the neck, it's actually where the low strings are, then if you push up, you push it off of the fretboard. So when you do vibrato on a really low note, down here, you need to pull it down. And I'm still touching right there, and I'm using actually two fingers. Also, when you bend, you bend like that, but vibrato is sort of a fast bend. Like you, you bend it, you pull it a little bit and then you relax it like that. And you can practice this 
slowly and get your muscle memory going. I'm actually pulling with my, my arm. Can you see my arm moving a little bit? Like that. Now I'm on the D string third fret. Fifth fret. You have to keep a pressure there. If you lift up at all, then your note will stop. So you have to keep a pressure if you're doing a vibrato as you modulate that tone. Now on electric guitar, it's a little bit different. Might do a really wide vibrato. We'll do that another day. Well, thanks for being here. You know, you can support me by subscribing at Subscribestar or being a patron at Patreon or just making a donation in the PayPal link below. You can get my book, Quail Studios Music and Lead Sheets, which has all the songs, well, not all the songs, but most of the songs that I've been working on. I've got plenty more to put in there. So we'll talk to you later. And there's some theory in the back, by the way. All right, talk to you later. <laughs>